Heredity and environment can interact in many ways. For example, it is known that children who are the firstborn have on average higher IQs than their later-born siblings. Whatever the reasons for this, if families in Group A have an average of two children and families in Group B have an average of six children, then the average IQ in Group A is likely to be higher than in Group B, even if the innate genetic potential of the two groups is the same, because half the people in Group A are firstborns, while only one-sixth of those in Group B are. In some cultures, marriage between first cousins is acceptable, or even common, while in other cultures it is taboo. These differences existed long before science discovered the negative consequences of inbreeding, and in some cultures such patterns have continued long after these scientific discoveries. Races, classes, or other social groups with very different incest taboos can therefore start out with identical genetic potential and yet end up with different capabilities. The point here is simply that there are too many variables involved for dogmatic pronouncements to be made on either side of the issue of innate equality or innate inequality of the races as they exist today. Since there has been no method yet devised to measure the innate potential of individuals at the moment of conception, much less the innate potential of races at the dawn of the human species, the prospect of a definitive answer to the question of the relationship of race and innate mental ability seems remote, if possible at all. Put differently, the utter certainty of many who have answered this question in one way or in the opposite way seems premature at best, when all that we have at this point, when it comes to race and intelligence, is a small island of knowledge in a vast sea of the unknown. However, Neither certainty nor precision have been necessary for making practical decisions on many other questions, so there needs to be some assessment of the magnitude of what is in dispute, and then some assessment of how the evidence bears on that practical question.